All right, so, oh, well, Sai, put your be, headphones that on. That might be the deal. Sai, right. we're trying to make TV here. Is <laughs> what? it TV? What are we doing? A podcast? Know. Nope. Are we here? Am I going to have to knock are the y'all fire here? out of you this hour? Are, are we you here? here? Are I'm here? trying to get you to put are your headphones this? on. Oh, chicken plunk. Is because anybody in here? We're here. We're, we're here. here. Where are we? I ain't. You tell us, Mark. Welcome That's your job. Back. Welcome back to the Duck Call we're Room. Here. We're here. Si, you'll notice, has on the same shirt that you had on last time we recorded because I get to look at well, him hey. twice again. Well, look, so, and this, this is a, you might think we're on like, we just did them back to back. I want y'all to join God's Army. Amen. Let's yeah. talk well, about hey, old age. Well, I don't know nothing about that. You don't? No. Oh, yeah, you're in the midlife hey, crisis. I, I just, forgot. no, I just turned 14. 14. Okay. I just turned. I'm trapped. I'm, I'm trapped, turned. unfortunately, in a 73 year old body. Huh. Okay. But hey, we're working it out. But. We? But. Who's what? But. But again, you well, bet your brains out. Hey. So, what happened this morning to make us question old age? Oh, well, hey, look. They came, the teal came real, real early this morning. It hadn't even got good daylight. And yet. you shot all of them. No. Like, normal. no. Unfortunately, no. That's a first. <clears throat> Look, it was very early. It hadn't very got early. daylight yet, and I can't hear them. So they come by, and I didn't see them. So then I feel stands up, and as soon as he stands up, I stand up with my gun in my hand. Wait, time out. Yeah. You were sitting down? Yeah. No. <laughs> no, yeah, we no. all sit. Hey, no. no, no, we're in the Hobbit blind. I you can't stand. I you can't stand up in the Hobbit bar. I didn't know you sat okay. down on a duck hunt. Hey, they come in. I don't see them. Although I'm standing up, looking right in the decoys. There's no splash, and then it's boom, boom, boom. It's just over. And you didn't. Jason, shoot? Jason, Phil, and Stone killed all six of them. Why didn't you shoot? Because I didn't see them, and I ain't gonna just shoot in the air or so, in the water. But hold on now. Yeah, I got a question. Yeah. So you mean to tell me that even when you don't shoot, ducks still die? Well, hey, that was one of the first times that they done that. <laughs> huh? Okay. Huh? You can't. You got to be kidding. Yeah. I didn't think that was possible. Hey, he put, I, the, he no, put no. the stare on him. Well, yeah. no, no, but hey, I was shocked. <laughs> <laughs> he was like. <laughs> now, to tell the truth, I told you, I couldn't even see them, so I didn't know that. You know, I only seen two in the air, and I think Phil killed both of them. Okay. Uh, Stone, so you got no clue. I believe, no, no. I believe Stone and Jason around swatted the ones they killed. Well, that's fine. I know. I seen two that was in the air, and Phil killed both of them. That ain't against the rules. So that's two for mm -hmm. Phil. Then there's two more each for Jason and Stone. So you got weeded out. Oh, I didn't kill Dudley Squat. Did you fire okay. your weapon? Nope. No. I did not. Old age. But in him. the morning, oh, I'm going to be on. I alert with Timmy in the morning. I alert. Because, hey, here's the thing. I've already told him. Jace don't believe me. I'm leaving Friday. I won't be there Friday hunting. So, hey, they're going to burn their guns barrels off Friday. It'll either be Friday or Saturday, probably. Yep, yep. That's probably right. Because they'll, they're going to hit us in mass here the next two days. I figured they'd come with that. Yeah. Well, they had a good win today. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We got a tropical storm. Well, no, no. I know. Us. I know. Oh, <laughs> hey, and bring it up. Hey. Hey, Maybe hey. some of the powers to be or some of the intelligent people listening. Uh -oh. Okay. Why? I don't think we have. Both of them. Well, no, no. Well, both of them. <laughs> but why does hurricanes uh, counterclockwise? What's the reasoning behind that? Because typhoons go. And look, and here's, what, here's the odd one. I'm looking at the news last night, and it's showing the, the hurricane right on the coast and doing it this way. Counterclockwise. That's not okay. This way. You need a new counter, right? But it's traveling. Nope. Other. You way. need a new nope. clock. Nope. Counter. Nope. Counterclockwise. Clockwise. Oh yeah. Is the rotation tick, tick, of tick, the yeah. storm. Tick, tick, tick. Not the rotation of the storm, not the path that it takes. Yeah. Because it always, and that's here's the odd part. It's oh. rotating. He's talking about it's, the rotation of the storm. It's rotating not, not the path left. It takes. Okay, but it's hooking right. Well, it watches NASCAR hey, it's all the like time. Golf. You got to turn like right golf. to go left. You just sliced it to your right. It's an obvious answer. Right? Well, hey, give me the obvious answer then, it's dummy. It's because we're it in the Northern Hemisphere. And, what does uh, the Northern Hemisphere got well, to do with Well, due to the right rotation the of the is. Earth. Hey, it's it called, comes from the South. Everybody knows it's the Coriolis Force <laughs> Bulls Hurricanes. <laughs> you can't even. <laughs> the Coriol the Coriolis effect. That. Yeah. Sure. That's right, what I'd say. I was just trying to. Like that. 
read it in case the <laughs> listeners it, he that really was hurt strong. me. And I didn't even hit you good, so it slipped. It was off the glance. Yeah, that's right. all that working out he's been <laughs> that's doing. That's right, buddy. So, he got some power. So you're trying to give Sai the answer, and he just dope pops you. Yep. Well, well, he's lying to me. I tried to act the like Norman I knew it. The Norman Hemisphere, and I, all that, he was doing was just blowing smoke. It actually is. The, no, he's no, reading the answer He's from reading from it there. off. Uh, he's fact, <laughs> fact checking you. It is. This website is called the Library what of you have Congress. That, what is that saying? Um, it's it because we're it pulls it away from the equator. I don't. It's the Coriolis that's the force. Bull. That I don't even believe that. Oh my god, that's BS. What do you? What <laughs> do you believe? Uh, if the Sci- Almighty told me which way why it done that, I'd believe it. Well, I ask it. Yeah. Well, hey, I ask and you shall receive. What if hey, that will be the first thing I'm gonna say? Hey, by the way, all these giant storms you cook up out in the ocean. That's what you're going with. That's one of the first things. Yeah, that's yeah. that's like your... I want to know why it counterclockwise. Okay, but what if and just hear me out. Yeah. What if I want to know the why Almighty sent Mister Coriolis to come up with that force? That way he could tell you uh, who's this. Who you talking about? I'm Coriolis. Just, I'm assuming he named it after himself. I want to know why all the light bulbs in the world ain't like the ones in refrigerators because that sucker never burns out. <laughs> ever. Oh, wrong answer. It does burn out. I've had them burn out. You've had them burn out. Yep, it takes a long time, but I they gotta do be burn honest out. with you. I've never had one. Burn well, it's out. it's uh. Oh yeah, they burn out. Yeah, yeah but it's been a long. But they time. normally have to get yeah. wet. That sucker under my carport, I got to change that thing all the time. And that's a good one for you. They had to get wet. All the time. Burn out. What? Yeah. How does the? How because do, of all the getting hot, getting your, your refrigerator down. gets hot. Condensation. Yeah, it gets hot. Letting warm hey, air. Where in. do you think? Hey, where did you think uh, ice comes from? Something gets hot and it freezes up. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, hey, hey, there's one of them oxymorons for you. What do we do? Uh, I thought fire melts ice. Uh, no, fire brings ice. <laughs> Trust me. I could listen to you two well, all day. No, no. Keep going. Hey, I'm just, just serious. Keep going. You've learned you your it, lesson. Hey, you just sit back and hey, listen. Look. I try and make sense of all uh, of it. Hey. Pull your refrigerator out and look at the back of it where the, uh, I can't even think of the name of it right now. Apples? Or, no, where all the uh, pipes are, the little pipes that. Coils? Make your coil, yeah, the coil that makes your refrigerator cold. Condenser. Okay, it gets hot. Yeah, condenser. It gets hot, and guess what? It freezes up on the outside when it gets hot. Ice. Chip, 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 you know. Well, I'm I, very well aware of that effect because I got one of them stupid refrigerators with an ice maker and a refrigerator. <laughs> oh, I got a new refrigerator. That ain't worked in three years. And the thing <laughs> right. ain't but four years. But old. there's Froze ice all up. on the back got of the condenser. Hot. Froze up. Yeah, hey, that's, that's it. it. It's got a hot. solid block it got, ice and you I, can't even it open got, it anymore. It froze up, boy. You got what t- happened to it? Froze up. I, got I, too hot. It's mine, too hot mine, it did that and I took a blow dryer to it. Yeah, blow dryer worked for a while. Oh, don't put a blow dryer on that. Then I just said, you know what? Ice ain't that expensive. Oh, that hey, man, to that. I can buy it. That coffee was terrible cold. Dude. What? The cold coffee. Cold I was going to drink the rest of it right here. It, it was cold. I get that. Did yeah, y'all know there's a refrigerator shortage? Well, it was shortage? hot, so it turned ice. That's yeah, why it's I, cold. I, I, there's a refrigerator shortage. Mm-hmm. It's hard to buy one. Is it? Mm-hmm. Hey, it's even a, harder to it's buy a chest freezer. It's a shortage of everything. Try to dry, buy a dryer. Hey. Is that hard to buy? Are all your clothes wet? All the time. <laughs> I don't know. Well, hey, it's been in the nineties. Hey, put it outside, let it dry out, son. It is hot outside. Uh, uh, no, we tried to get one and no. I ordered a refrigerator and it's taken two months. I ordered a toilet paper holder and they said they'd have that in three months. Three months. Couldn't huh. whittle one out. Everything. Take your stick Everything's in there. going south, boys. Everything's tearing up. Because if you buy a new truck and it breaks down. Hey, Tell it's, us on about the side, it. it's on the side of the highway for a while, boys. <laughs> What's the matter there, son? <laughs> you all right? Hey. I used to think I had some semblance of where we may get to, but today <laughs> has completely ruined that. So, hey, uh, I'm having fun. I'll tell fun. you where we're going to get to. We're going to get to break number Take one. Take a break, <laughs> boys, and try to, we're going to try to and come we'll back to, with something that is on track. We'll try okay. to get this thing back on course. <laughs> That's right. We're going to get on the train of track. Instead of rotating counterclockwise right out of control. What about the right, right. How's that? Talk, talk. This is a Troy. This would be a good coin to flip for like nah, a point nine, nine, nine.
SD bullion silver bullet. It's not a sign. Why do you have a silver bullet? Why would I right. have a silver bullet? I may run up on a werewolf. That's oh. the only thing that killed him, boys. Silver bullet. You yeah. have, look at this thing. Look at how huh. pretty it is. That's right. a big That is pure. Silver. That's heavy, Martin. Yeah. You, so what? You got off of burying Vietnam dong in your backyard? Well, I buried a lot of stuff in my backyard. How like that, what? One of these days, it's going to be a lot of money. The <laughs> Vietnamese dong, I buried. But now, or what are you into now? Silver? Yep. Gold? Silver. Platinum? I'm like the Lone Ranger, boys. You got to have a few silver bullets around. What? Hey, seriously, hey. when he and silver if he does go on to be with the Lord, we need to get one of Jason's metal detectors. Look at that. Nah. See how good that thing rolls, That's boy? That's a good roller. It That's fantastic. Roller. So, look, folks, here we are. You, We all know how screwed up the economy is. Prices for food are soaring. Product shortages and delays are everywhere. Inflation is getting out of control. You know one thing that inflation doesn't affect? Precious metals. Precious metals. Gold, silver. We have teamed up with our buddies over at SD Bullion. They offer some of the lowest prices on gold and silver. And look, they're like-minded, believing individuals. They're Christians. They ain't trying to swindle you out of nothing. They are not snake oil salesmen, as we That's prefer right. to call That's them. Right, boys. You know, it's, it is actually refreshing to work with a company built on faith-based values, low transparent pricing, just basically kind of like Duck Commander is. So... If you didn't know, you can actually use your IRA to invest in gold and silver. Most financial planners will not tell you about that because they don't get to make a cut off the transaction because you keep all the things that you buy with it. So, you know, gold and silver, solid investments. They'll be here forever. Something tangible you can put your hands on. Right here. Um, so when you do. And they this, put it in cool shapes. They do put it in. They've got all kinds of coins. Bullets. Uh, bullets statues statues they've got everything they have the truth series huh. which is a two coin set featuring the roaring lion and the tree of life i saw some noah's ark ones too. they got noah's ark they got it all it is actually a really cool deal if you've never considered it now is one of the best times you could ever think about considering it. this so, one's got the constitution on it there you go well, it's the preamble there you go we the people hmm. if you want to learn more about protecting your assets with gold and silver contact our friends at sd bullion they have a special discount for duck call room fans just text the word duck to 465-322 to get a free guide to buying gold and silver and five dollars off your very first order that's the word duck to 465-322 once again text duck d-u-c-k to 465-322 God, when I do have a question for you. What's that? Can can you do me a solid? What's that? I'm there you. is a uh, there's a large dead rodent about twenty feet outside that door. You remind moving him. <laughs> a large dead rodent. He's a big one. That's a big old rat. It's like a squirrel, like but a in mouse, mouse form. Inside the building. Uh huh. Inside the we'll building. Pick him up one by his big tail wolf, and sling him one out the big door. Big wharf rat. Well, I know his technical term is a cotton rat. Cotton. We probably shouldn't go down this road because we have customers rat. that show up here. <clears throat> what? A rats get inside. Part Look, of, hey, part rats of well, get I mean, we, we, But that's a big one. We have an in... Hey. The Duck Commander building was built on a swamp. You could have shot that thing. With rat shot. Not with rat shot. You need a solid bullet. Oh, you need a solid bullet for him? Oh, <laughs> oh he was one of them groaners. He's okay. liable to fend off rat shot. Okay. You at least need a pellet gun. <laughs> he's, a, he's a good one. He's, a, he's, gun, he's, he's a good one. You could, in times of need, you could eat him. Really? Mm-hmm. Ooh. Yeah. That would have we to be, I, I would have to, to be, dump I would have to be starving Sunday. to death, and then I don't know if I could handle yeah. it. There it is. Yep. What? There. Yeah. <laughs> Run that back. Godwin? I said, we used to go shoot rats at the dump on after church on Sundays. At a I used to do it at the barns. <laughs> huh? All we yeah. did on Sundays after church was eat fried chicken. <laughs> That's right. I'm well, was after that. that. I, I'm with him. I'm with, I'm with Martin. That's what I always did. So, And old yeah. Tommy Robinson would always, right when Grandma would say, okay, let's eat. He said, I ain't eating. Why he's too ready to go shoot rats? Hey, no, go shoot rats. Rats. No, 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 he would just he would just say, "I won't. I'm not eating." Don't that's let it. it don't that's let good. And most this. of the time, I wouldn't be quiet. So, I got to know about the rat. Hunt. Yeah. Hey, why? Every, every <laughs> oh, that was awesome. Hey, why, I, I don't know about it. How old were you? What year was this? What caliber? Know. What was your weapon? Like this was adult. Shoot them on twenty two. Yeah. Twenty two. Twenty two. Back when you could find ammunition. Yeah. Yeah. 
See, every time you make us a little blind, get a long chair and just sit there. But you go out there and get this one, you find the stinkiest bag you can find out there, and you you fluff it up. Then you set up, you set it up, and get ready. Oh yeah, and you just had to be quick because Daddy was pretty fast. Uh oh! Oh, this was a this was a family affair. It's a family affair, boy. That's how I learned how to shoot. Did y'all change clothes after church, or did you just go in your Sunday dress? No, we changed clothes. Okay. Hey, we used to do that in the house. We'd put the camo. It wasn't rats. Oh, okay. yeah, we'd put them no. old traps out with him. No, oh, no, no, it wasn't old traps. Me Y'all Phil, shot him? We got, we, he had a pellet gun. I had a, a Daisy BB gun. Yeah. We would leave the light on in the dining room and get in the hallway and lay down <laughs> with with uh, pillows for sandbags. Okay? And it was always food on the floor. What? And here comes the, here comes the mouse, the mice. Yeah. And hey, we'd let them get. We'd let them get right in the middle of the room, and then the barrage started. You turn on the light. Down, yep. Turn on the light. No, the light, no, and, the light was on. And they, no, the light was on. They would the come background. out, and but we'd let them get right in the middle of the room, and then it was like these uh, shooting galleries, you know. But they got the uh, ducks and everything on, oh, on yeah. the chain. Except y'all we, had, we kept them on the chain too. But y'all had they'd them go mice. left, bing, oh, in front of them. They try to go right, bing, back. Oh. Hey, hey, we did like get that quite. Old West, we busted like that old West guy shooting hey, a cane. No, no, we busted quite a few window panes doing that little Uh-oh. stunt. <laughs> Got your tail and tore I, up over that. And trouble? that was always that was always one of these beatings was due after that little episode yeah. with busting windows. You were shooting pellet guns in the house. Oh yeah, you oh, just yeah. described like a really fun raccoon hunt, but you were just shooting. Oh no, this was mice hunting. In your home, this was this was big game hunting when oh, we yeah. was little. <laughs> yeah. But you'd have we're, to go move hey, them. You'd have to go move them in rats the or they wouldn't come back. Uh, uh, yeah. uh, you put them out as decoys. No, they wouldn't come <laughs> out. <laughs> hey. They wouldn't come out. Hey. You and if you had them. a wounded one, it would let, it, let him squeak. Oh man, <laughs> <laughs> I don't they know. All the rest of me. He's calling those medics to come in. Well, we shot the medics too. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think people care Good about great. animal cruelty towards mice. Though. Oh, hey, what did you do when you were thing. young? Play checkers? <laughs> Man, I don't know. I didn't do none of that. At night, I generally went to sleep. I had a pellet uh, gun and a BB gun. Oh, hey. inside the house. Was I do not... too, but we, hey. I don't even want to talk about what I did. We was <laughs> night stalkers. Life was great in in the fifties. Go boys. shoot pigeons under the bridge. Oh, I'm in yeah. on that. We done that in the gym. We actually huh? caught them, caught them, and then had them in our pigeon coop. Yeah, oh hmm. eagle. Yep, until the cats got home. Where'd y'all get? Oh, yeah. Where did y'all keep the pigeons for? In the chicken coop. For what? Cause we liked them. They like to send letters. Did y'all uh, eat oh, pigeons? No, we didn't eat lot them. A lot of letter writing back but, in hey, the day. But squab is good. Huh? Okay, that's what it's called, squab. I have no hey, squab. Look, I in in France, that. that's a delicacy. Squab. Yeah. I've been to France, and there was dirty pigeons everywhere. Well, hey, they were cooked dirty them. people They there, cooked too. them, too. Wasn't enough squab no, eaters over there. The they, dirty ones, they let go. Yeah, the, yeah. not enough squab. <laughs> I don't think I could eat a pigeon. Uh, oh, no, I've ate, a, a, I've ate a many of them. It's just a big dove. Yeah, his name is a rock dove. He's right. a dove. He's a dove is what yeah. he is. You got to have a little more TLC because he'll dry out quicker because yeah. he's a bigger animal. But oh, yeah. No, he's yeah. fine yeah. to eat. Squab no is good. It's a delicacy in France. So I'm in the apocalypse, like New York City will be okay because they'll just eat the pigeons? Well, whatever blows up air will probably wipe out all the pigeons, too. I'd head west. <laughs> yeah. There's a bunch of them out in, like, Nebraska, <laughs> Wyoming, Idaho. Wait, there's uh, pigeons uh, in Idaho? They hunt them. They got decoys. They hunt right. them out there like that. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. I'm learning so much today. Mojo. Well, no, no. Our friends at Mojo make a pigeon spinning one. Yeah. So, so basically, the pigeons from the big city are like people from the big city and the pigeons from yeah. Kansas are, well, are and, good, the, the good pigeons. And you, yeah. what you would from the call, Midwest. What you would yeah. call rural towns that are not too big, they have an annual pigeon hunt. No. I'm telling you they do. Hello. 
I thought it was on silent forever. <laughs> yeah. I, I super glued more. mine to vibrate. Did you really? Day? No, but I mean, it might as well be. I, I thought <laughs> There's no was. reason. We're in 2021. There is no reason for your cell phone to make a noise. This is a PSA. Well, I'm fixed to say because, <laughs> hey, no one, no one talks on a, on a cell and phone. And it certainly shouldn't be a terrible song. Can you yeah, I don't even know why they call it a cell phone. Pigeons can be. Because no one talks on it. I talk on it all the time. I no, talked to God hey, one this morning. No. Yeah, uh, they ought to call it a typewriter. He said, "What's the code to that? What's the code <laughs> to the door?" Hey, they call it a typewriter because all you do is text. That's on right. It. Well, what? In the, what in the world? I'm reading about rock dove pigeon hunting. Oh, yeah, yeah. You thought I thought oh, it was yeah. going some kind of snake. You go out to Idaho where they got like them rock cliffs and stuff over lakes. Then pigeons would go out there and feed in like the bean fields yeah. and everything, like like ducks and everything else yep. do. So Except that, you can it? hunt them in like June. So yeah. when nothing else is going on, hey, go kill you some pigeons. You can book a pigeon hunt and go right. go whack you a bunch of them. In the United States, the Migratory Bird Treaty Act of 1918 protects native wild birds, making it illegal to kill them or remove their nests. That being said, the pigeon is an exception to the law as it is an introduced species to America and is, is. considered non-native. Yeah, he's an in, he's and, not invasive though. He's and they're a pest. But see, like collared doves. Whack them any time of the year you want. That's to. right. Yeah, they're, they're invasive. They take away nesting deal yep. and all that. So starlings, you can you can hit them over the head any time yep. you want to. Yep. Collard does. They're, they that's why. They that's why. Born here. No, they ain't from. I it's called the Eurasian collard. Yeah. Yeah. Eurasian. Yep. I never oh, heard right. of you. Well, we just Barnes. learned a lot about birds. Barnes. So you never know where we're gonna go. And look, I don't know, but I like this path a lot better than the first. Well, one. no, I no. Like hey, the first one it in was Germany, I seen like a thousand when I'm deer hunting. Collar so, does. Yeah. yeah. So I asked I asked the guy, can I go hunting? He said, yeah. You know, so I figured I'd fix to tear them up because they just, you know, it's a thousand there. But you talking smart. Hey, I walked out there and sit down in the field that they was feeding at. They, they was over there sitting in the trees, and hey, as long as I sit there, they sit in them trees. They smelt you. Wouldn't come in the field. That's when you walk down the tree line and get you the blast. Well, no, no, that wasn't his property. Oh. Right, pitiful. Well, it sounds like yeah. any man that'll shoot a rat at night ain't worried about a property line. But well, man, hey, just well, yeah. In his home. <laughs> in in <laughs> a foreign country. Yeah. Hey, in a foreign country. You got to yeah. watch it in a foreign country. Oh, right? yeah, that's a good point. You got to watch it. You wasn't from around there. Somewhere. I wasn't from around there. Yeah, yeah that's so, a good point. Hey, All right, well, let's take our yeah, next yeah, break. Uh, we'll take a break, boys. Right let's after. take All a break. Right. We just got started. Uh, boys, we just got started. I've always said this, Justin Martin. Always ready. Hey, right. I'm always ready for anything. He's I try the, to. I stay ready knife. so I don't have to get that and way. And you know Look, why you're always ready? Because our friends over at Groove Life sure do make it easy. Look, if you're looking for a silicone wedding band, something where your finger won't get ripped off. Look, Godwin even finally got on that wedding hey. band back. He ain't worn one in 40 years, and now sure he's got right. one back on. So, look, the Groove the Life rings life. are fantastic, but the thing that is super fantastic is the belt. I think Cy si will agree with you. Right. You put the belt on, it's magnets, it's fantastic, and when you sit down, it, it doesn't cut into your side. It's a stretchy belt. It's kind of like one size fits most, you know, which is a big deal when you're shaped like Si right. or Slim like trim, myself. Mm -hmm. I there even got go. one. Slim and trim. Slim and goblin has got boy. him a belt. Yeah. So you're the only one missing. I've been waiting on mine. I'm so excited That's to That's because get one. athletic shorts don't have belt loops, so we That's didn't right. figure you That's were right. really boys. in the need for one. That's right. <laughs> and no, right. not many people tuck in a sweatshirt. So I wear we pants That's on right. Sunday, sir. There we go. Yeah, with your fancy tennis shoes. But look, the belts are legit. It's amazingly comfortable. It's a belt you never need to adjust. You just adjust it the very first time, and unless you lose a ton of weight like we have, you never have to adjust it again. If you can maintain... You're locked in right there. It's great for the everyday carry, and it's perfect for the office, the woods, like I have on in Realtree Edge, Ooh. and everything in between. It has a perfect amount of stretch to give you the most comfortable all-day fit ever. Like I said, it holds together using magnets. You don't have to paint yourself. You don't have to get that little roll above your belt. We know you got it. We know you got that I roll. Got you don't it. have to get it painted Stone's trying there. to get rid of it, but that's, yeah. gonna, that's a lot of work. So. Or if you're like me and you've got just a slight amount of hair right there at the bottom of your belly button, it don't pull that out either. So, right. you know, trust me, you'll love the toughest, most comfortable belt known to man and the most comfortable ring for guys and girls who play in the dirt. And with the Groove Life Lifetime Warranty, there is absolutely no risk. Right now, get 15% off your Groove Life order at DuckLovesGroove.com with promo code DuckLovesGroove. Duck Go to DuckLovesGroove.com and use promo code DuckLovesGroove. That's all one word. DuckLovesGroove for 15% off your Groove Life order. 
ducklovesgroove.com, promo code ducklovesgroove. We want to talk. We could talk about the weird news coming out of Grambling. Uh oh. What's that? I never heard. Oh, of that. I hadn't heard the new weird news out of Grambling. Johnny D, you want to? Yes, I do. Yes, he does. Go for it, JD. Listen to this one, Sai. You're gonna like this. This is. Um. Well, I sent it to you, didn't I? Yeah. All right. You want me... me to read it? No. Yeah. Right. Hey, go ahead. I just I'm pulling up the article right now because okay. a man was accused of something. Uh oh. And. They got Ac- him on camera. Accusation. Oh, wait. Our TV's off. What huh? they, they got him on camera. They didn't turn it on. He didn't turn do you it want on. to know what he was accused Everything. of, Gavin? I do. What oh. was he accused? I don't want to pull it up here because si is going to say. Man accused of stealing a duck from the park sought by the Grambling Police Department. Why is this For man- stealing a duck? Uh-huh. From what? the park? Hey, was what kind of tail? duck was it? He's a, one of them white Aflac looking ducks. Oh. oh. Aflac. Yeah. I like I like to run over two of them coming from hunting this morning. Say, so look, oh, look at him. Look at him. Oh yeah. Well, that was George. He didn't come home last night. Now, so. is that any of your kin folk? I don't recognize. They got a lifted truck with a I light bar. I don't. Rec- yeah. I don't recognize. He may live hmm. on Field Park Road. Hey, the truck looks familiar though. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. The yeah. truck yeah. looks familiar. Yeah. <laughs> so, the uh, truck does look familiar. But the Grambling Police Department is looking for a man they believe stole a duck from the city park. The Lincoln Parish Sheriff's Office has a post on their Facebook Uh-oh. page. So it's a crime. Asking, well, I mean, they stole a duck. It's not his duck, you man. You can't go around stealing ducks no more, right. Si. Oh, Uh-oh. you can't steal ducks, boys. Well, well, Everything. That's that. Daddy always told me you don't know what you get by. Well, I'm, I was glad this morning that the three ducks that was on the side of the road uh-huh. were not buzzers because if it had been buzzers, they'd probably ended up you didn't my, them, through my baby. window. What? Because I was phoning them, come around the curve, and there they are. And, phew, you know. Is there a chance you were driving too fast? No, I was going about 55. Hmm. But I was trying to get home. In a 25. You know, because you know, I had to start my workout Ooh. at a oh. certain time. That's a I thought you were going to say there was a movement taking place. Oh, no. Yeah. No. Now, yeah, the only movement well, was just my remember, workout. No matter yeah. where you go, I, there you are. Oh, no. There you go. <laughs> there you are. Wherever you at, there you are. Sorry, you ever think you see the day where a news article has to do with a man stealing a duck? No, I park? did. I didn't. Where, that, where, that, where, that, that means we've well, literally, how do they know? We've how gone do to they the du- ducks. Not to the dogs, J.D. We've gone to the ducks. So if you go to the park and stay, you're automatically property of the park? I guess. Uh, well, I, what if the park bought it? I got a neighbor who has ducks they as did. pets. Well, they well Willie, not go to Willie the park. used to have a bunch of ducks out there at his house, but then the uh, hawks ate them all. But how do you really know about a duck? He ain't got a collar yeah. on. No. Yeah. Oh, these ducks my neighbor has, you know. Oh. They got names. I don't know if they have names. They just, because, hey, just because they got names, yeah. that don't mean that. She knows them. Excuse me, you can't because steal me you because can't feed I them. have a name. Because you might feed them what's wrong. You might feed them bread. So what uh, was he going to do with this me. duck, Reckon? I don't, he uh, may train him to walk behind him. I don't know. That's it. He may uh, be wanting to make his own Peabody Hotel. Maybe so. I tried training I've, our mallards here. I've been, but I've been there. Me too. Couldn't do it. Did no. you see the big deal they make all of it with the ducks coming and walking the come red out, carpet? Yeah. Come out the I told elevator. him, I said, hey, if you give me a shotgun, I can help you out here. Now, I always yeah. thought they should make you the duck master <laughs> there anyway. It's your yeah, second hey, job. And hey, yeah, I like it. The guy, he was like the, uh, the, uh, Guy that comes out in all the three rings of the three ring circus and he's announcing what's going on. The ring, the the ring, yeah. Like, the ring, leader. brother, boys. I hey, I, in a that's duck what it was. He was the ring the leader and he had a bunch of mallard ducks. He come walking down like a band leader and all the ducks were behind him. Yeah, that's pretty cool. It actually. was pretty cool that, that they actually follow this guy. Yeah, they live on the okay. roof and they go. He's get the him. Pied Piper. Yeah. Did they come yeah. out and go to the rendezvous and get something to eat? I don't think I'm much on them ribs. No. Hmm. I'm patrolling Facebook. Hey, he's patrolling Facebook. What are you us. patrolling it for? For the duck. Yeah. Now patrolling. Oh, anybody, I'm trying to see if we've caught him. Am I found patrolling him? No, no they ain't got him yet. Oh, there's Daffy. They on that Affleck bag. <clears throat> yeah, that? yeah. Hey. Everybody's just making fun of it for it being the Affleck. Old Nick's, in, old Nick's hmm. got on that. <laughs> old Saban. <laughs> <laughs> him and Affleck duck. Hey, the Affleck man got a pretty good hunting ranch. That's it. In case anybody wanted to know, south of Atlanta, um, Georgia, hmm. he got them. Foul play is expected. Though. All right, foul, foul play. play. Oh, 
Man, is it F O W? Foul play is expected. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, they did foul. They did water mm-hmm. foul play. I love local news. I, I'll be, I, I'll be honest though. You know, groceries are expensive, so that's probably why he oh took the duck. Groceries. Mm. Are Although, expensive. just go kill it yourself, man. It's duck season. I got to be honest though. I the local news got scary whenever I went to the Lincoln Parish Facebook page. Good gracious. But it's duck season, so if you wanted a duck, just go whack you one. I mean, right. teal are here. Yeah, yep. teal right. probably don't taste as good as that big old white thing. He. I don't know. Oh, he I looks mean. a little aged. I don't think I'd be That's... real keen on eating him neither. Mm. Maybe, but I doubt it. Well, I don't think they've caught him. So, so if duck... you're in Lincoln Parish and you see a man in a the duck napper is still on the loose truck still with a white duck, right. please right. contact the Ruston Police Department. That's right. Hey, if he's I got a duck on his arm. Don't mess with him. He's armed and dangerous. <laughs> I don't know that that part's true. <laughs> hey, he's got a duck on his arm. Man, they're after all sorts hey, of people hey. here in Louisiana, though. People stealing stuff. Right. Hey, oh, yeah. Bunch of thieves. That's across the world. That ain't yeah. just here. Well, yeah. they're stealing ducks. This man stole from a tackle shop. That's oh, not good. cool. Hey, well, mm. he needs to go back fishing bait. No. How yeah. is he going to eat? Get some worms or pay for it. What else you got in the news? You got anything uh, wait, else? Back it up. Uh-oh. This is the guy that... Oh, he stole sunglasses. No, no. Back it up. What's the dog? What did he steal? The dog? <laughs> yeah. The dog steals on? Uh, well, I don't know. He's pretty, uh, I'm reading. I'm pretty, reading. I'm reading. I'm reading. He's a pretty German shepherd, though. Hmm. Oh, somebody... Nah, somebody... And a big one. Somebody decided to run into the woods away from the police. Oh, cool. And that guy got him? That's a police dog. Yeah, don't be messing with that thing. Yeah, the... That's Sergeant Dog. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Don't tell me they oh, shot my. that dog. They shot the dog. Uh-oh. I don't even want to talk about Uh-oh. this. <laughs> Felony. Mm. Felony, boys. Prison time coming up. Wow. Dang. That took an unexpected <laughs> yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. my bad. Yeah. This is why we have prepared news articles, right. which we had yeah. to yeah, bad, bad, and my we bad. should not have gone to the Facebook. It was a pretty dog. It was a very beautiful I got dog. a question. Yep. Not to... To change the subject. No, I, that's very I, welcome at this yeah, point. Uh, How yeah. come every flight you get on is delayed now? <laughs> every flight you get on is delayed. Uh, they ain't got no employees. Because everything is, we're, we're having. Well, one of them was they was waiting on the hey, crew. There's a shortage of everything. That's what they call it. And call even it. though they're delayed, you never miss a connection because the next one's delayed. Well, I don't hear that because, hey, I've missed connections. I hadn't missed a connection oh, and I in a was long hot. time. Because I was actually there in time, and they wouldn't let me go on the plane. Huh? What? Yeah. Yeah, me and Stone was yeah. flying, yeah. and Stone ran ahead since he can do it. Yeah. And was supposedly to hopefully hold the door open. Well, I got there and was already going through the door to go down. And the, the lady said, hey, where are you going? I said, I'm going to get on my plane. And she said, no, 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 the doors are closed. And I said, no, no, lady, you don't understand. I'm talking to the guy is standing at the door. He's standing there waiting on me to get on board. She said, well, you're not going down. Wait, so Stone got on the plane and you oh, did Oh, yeah. No, no. Yeah, Stone got on the plane and got one home. Hey, I've got, <laughs> we've got a reroute coming and go to uh, Shreveport four hours later. Okay. Philip calls Alicia. Alicia drives to Shreveport and picks up. We get home. Oh, I was going to say, please tell Stone, me Stone didn't picked it? you up in Shreveport. No, <laughs> no. He said, so, no, hey, I'm going to the house. You know, Alicia comes to Shreveport. We get in about, oh, 2.30 a.m. in the morning. When If they had let me get on the stupid plane, and I'd have been home at like 6. And so Stone was on the plane. You were looking at the plane, and they wouldn't let you on? Wouldn't let me get on it. And hey, guess what? I went. Jake hey, squat. I got a question. I got on Facebook right and now. I said, "Hey, this place stinks to high heaven." Okay. <laughs> I bet that did a lot for you, didn't uh, it? Well, oh, it yeah. made me feel better. <laughs> <laughs> I, I hope it cost him a bunch of carriers. Okay, uh, they didn't fly that. What way. airline was it? Huh? Uh-oh. United. Oh, United's a gar anyway. It is. That's a gar. That's a big gar. That's right. That Houston airport, they had to actually try to design 
George Bush International oh, poorly I, I hate for to it go. to be that way. I hate to go no. through. They got Houston. gates B1 through 98 going out of two shipping containers yeah. on the end of that thing. Yeah. And it's like, what in the heck? Shipping containers. I mean, that's about what they feel well, like. Right, that's what what about is. Detroit? I'm not a, uh, what about Detroit? Detroit. I got out and I you had, mean Detroit I had City? Ten minutes to get to the next hey, one. You got some good and music. I, I asked that woman. I said, "Call them and tell them, oh, you got time? Just get on the train." Well, I didn't know the train was eighteen miles down the stinking. Tunnel. It's a lo- Detroit's a long one. I'm talking not long, as, not as long as Denver. No, Denver, Denver. There's some rumors about that airport. What about it? That's a whole conspiracy theory. Oh, you don't know about the Denver airport? No, but let's find out after this break. We'll be back right after this. Yeah, we're going to take another break. The end of the world is basically starting at the Denver airport. The what? Starting the end of the world. The end of the world. When the world comes to an end, that's where it's going to start. I personally believe it's going to be because Jesus comes back, but some people believe. It is excuse me because of whatever is happening at the Denver airport and the tunnels and bunkers all underneath it that were mysteriously built in 1995. Oh, 1995 underground. The Illuminati run the airport. Hey, the underground oh. is at work here. The what? And there's a bunch of like weird pictures. Have you been to the Denver airport? Yeah. Well, Have you yeah. noticed all the weird Several pictures times. on the wall? Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I've been there several times. Yeah, that's the, the end of the world. That's what's starting it. Uh, but that's where that might be where you want to be because there's there's like underground tunnels and stuff. It's like a whole city is underneath, filled of all the the lizard people and all the people that rule the world. Actually, they're underneath the Denver airport. Mm-hmm. What do you think? I don't. I don't. Know I don't think it think. has anything to do with marijuana being legal there. <laughs> <Uh-oh>. <laughs> <laughs> this has been around for a while, though. Yeah. So is marijuana. Yeah. There's, I mean, there's and it ain't going nowhere. Yeah. Secret societies that live under the airport. Uh oh, secret societies. And there's weird We're we're in twenty twenty one. Yeah. There are no more secrets. What's that? No, they yeah. are. But they're all under the Denver airport. Hey, JD's got he's he's why in, not to Monroe. He's airport. in with this. Uh, why why did they pick Denver? Because, what what is it about Denver? Look, because it's a mile high. There. Because they needed hey. to build it, because it's uh, way bigger than it needs to be. Bergen. It's Denver. Are these for the aliens <laughs> are taking over? I don't sounds know. like they're already there. Yeah, well, that's what I'm like talking it. about. Hey. They bust them up. The from whole, I never, there's, there's a whole community of body snatchers in news. Denver. The Illuminati, I don't even know what really that means, but the they're Illuminati. headquartered underneath the Denver area. Illuminati. Really? That's what everybody thinks. Huh. Anyway, all right. So if you're from Denver and could help us out with yeah. whatever's happening, Can you shed some light on what's going on underneath the Denver airport. Yeah. We need help. <laughs> There's a giant horse statue which looks more like a zebra to me. A zebra. But I think the that's just boys are taking over. When it they was, don't. Yeah, there, there's a lot of weird stuff going on at the Denver airport. Well, I mean, yeah. I've been to the bottom of the Denver airport, well, but, but right before you get to the Illuminati part, and it is a weird place. Just out of curiosity. Hmm. I've been down there, too. I had to get on a turbo plop headed to Rapid City. I was, there's a lot of Farmington, marijuana. New Mexico. There's there. a lot of marijuana in Denver, right? I don't My know. There's a lot of marijuana around the world. I was just trying oh, to make there. somewhat okay. of a funny. Okay. I don't, somewhat of a Colorado I don't joke. think. I don't think... Uh, if if you're dreaming this up, I don't think that marijuana is the recreational narcotic oh, you, of your choice. Oh, I, mean, no, okay. I could be uh, wrong, uh, okay. but I, I would suspect That's it's, more it's something a little line. higher. Yeah, a little starts stronger. with an L and ends in D. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um. Yeah. Anyway, so I that's mean, your conspiracy theory uh, 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 of the well, day: the Denver uh, Airport. So the right. Illuminati lives underneath the, the Denver Illuminati's. Airport. No, that's where they're headquarters. Who are, headquarters. Who are headquarters. the headquarters? Somebody from the Illuminati, please reach out to us. Or the we'll li- have you in this chair. You can yeah. have my chair. Or the lizard people. Lizard, lizard. people. Oh, you know, lizard people. Well, because there is a guanas over there, ain't it? Okay. No, that's, that's a Key West. Oh. That's Key West, Goblin. Uh-oh. A little too cold up there. Because some people lizard. think people are lizard people. Lizard people. Some people thought President Obama was a lizard person. Uh. It's a weird. The internet's a weird place. I Lord. just thought. Obama Where do you was find like, such nonsense? You, well, you really got to really, really got to dig for that. You got to really. The is this what people, you define as the dark web? No, no. Oh, this is the lit up web. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, this is this is there for everybody. Okay. If they're called reptilians, well, yeah, they're people that are uh, they control the earth. 
but they take human form for political gain. I so, feel well, like this is going to lead into us having to do a whole episode on conspiracy theories. I've always That's wanted wrong. to because oh. I don't believe in a few things. Conspiracy theories. Like what? Well, I believe in Sasquatch and the... Oh, uh, Bigfoot. Sasquatch. But he or thinks that whole thing that happened at the moon, that was in a studio. Really? I can tell you that. I know he believes that. I, Who whoa. does? Who does that? Johnny D. He doesn't think we what? landed on the moon either. He thinks there's a set. I'm yeah. not like saying. Like a movie set yeah. in he, Hollywood. Uh-huh. I, I'm kind of in agreement with that. <laughs> See? I'm not uh, saying we didn't land on the moon. You're just saying why ain't we been say, back. I'm just saying. Well, we have been back, allegedly. Well, hey, yeah. I'm just saying I doubt it. Yeah, it's, and it's called, it's called Area. I doubt it. It's called Area 54. And they got a big high fence all the way around. I would like to see electric, Area 54. Electric fence. I think it's Area 51, Zai. Huh. Yeah. It was Studio 54. You probably <laughs> had a long Studio night. Studio 54. You uh, probably had a long night there, too. That's where they oh, did. It may have been Studio Baker 54. What is it, Area 51? Does anybody actually know? A bunch the of people set. waiting to storm the gates. No, no. The moon yeah. set. No, they got rid of them. Oh, hey, Area 51 is the moon set. I don't think so. What a, One uh, giant step for mankind. You think that there's anybody in the military that works at Area 51 listening to us right uh, now? Yes, yes. No, they ain't going to tell you what's there. Yeah. Crap. They won't tell you what's there. They're Maybe they'll oath. shed some light on what's at Area 49 and 50, though. Yeah. No, those aren't right. important. What's exactly. the What's the significance of the number 51? It just it happens to be better. the one. It huh? sounds. It sounds. It's in the 51st you know. parallel. Yeah. Is that because there's only 50 states and this is the no, 51st? 51st? No. 51. Area 51. It was just the 51st It sounds area like James made. Bond. I don't know. Area 51. I just want to know what happened to 1 through 50. I'll look yeah, it up. Area area 50. 50. It's, a, it's an Air Force base. Area 1's down there, down the road. Oh, there. yes, it's Shinny Lake, oh, ain't Grover, it? <laughs> Grover. Area 1? Yeah. yeah, they started here. Yeah. Area 1, boy, started yeah. in Shinny Lake. What's Puckett Lake? Air <laughs> seven. <laughs> you stay out of there at night. Hey, here we go. That's where the water opens up. UFOs come in and land, and then the water closes back over. Uh, it is bizarre to think that lizard people would live somewhere that's so cold, knowing that reptiles are cold blooded. That's right. Yeah, cold. That's true. Oh, nobody knows why it's Area Fifty One. It's unclear. It's unclear. unclear. It's unclear. There's it's not unclear. an area one through fifty. It's unclass- unless you're at it's unclassified. You too. gotta have a top clearance to know that i just want to know who came up with lizard people theory that's an imagination the movie the movie industry the movie the reptilians yeah. Yeah. what are some other good conspiracy theories so si, you got any we're doubtful on the moon don't don't lump us as we Means that was the foundation of my childhood to learn that we landed on the moon who did it and who said it i'd prefer to think that's not a lie I'm not, I'm not saying that it's not a lie. I would just, I'm going to operate under ignorance is bliss, and I'm uh, going to act like we went there. I think we went there. I watched it. Oh. See, Godwin watched it. Hey, Godwin watched God it. Went, I once watched you on a trail camera picture Uh-oh. in the middle of the night. <laughs> Did you? Uh-oh. Mm-hmm. They can fake it. Hey. And that, that I'm hmm. just saying. Hey, I watched you playing Panther. Meow. But I so did I. I was there for that. Meow. <laughs> Them briars were real. That's that, it. That, that, was, was. that was so funny. Right through the bar so, pad. Have you ever met an alien, sir? Uh, nope. I may be an alien, JD. <laughs> He's part of the reptilian pit. Sai's worried right now because we're on to his underground lair at the Uh-oh. Denver airport. Yeah. Is that what that is That's on his right. back? Is that really like a spike or something? Yeah. Is that what that thing is? I notice he ain't, I notice he ain't saying nothing. <laughs> Save by the veil. We got him. We got him. Oh, Lord. All right. Well, let's get yeah, out of we here. We better take a break. Before right, well, look, no, but before, we before go, you know, oh. we'll be saying like that birds might not be real because the government killed all of them in yeah. 1980 but and replaced them we, with surveillance Before drones. we go, though, <laughs> when we come back, we're going to get in that hello at duckcallroom.com oh, mailbag. Mailbag, but boys. Folks, Send us your best conspiracy theories. Oh, yeah. Uh, let's, yeah. let's hear what y'all think out there. Yeah. Like, y'all are going to make me discuss my laptop sticker one day, and I'm willing to. No, I just think that's a clever guy that's hilarious. I'll give him that. I so, just want to. Conspiracy theories, send them to hello at duckcallroom.com. Here. And we're going to do a conspiracy theory episode. Yeah. 
ready. All right, we're I'm back. ready. And as we promised, we are in that the mailbag. Hello at duckcallroom.com. Thank you all for submitting the emails. Look, we're looking forward to your conspiracy theories. That's right. Yep. We'll get That's to what there. We're on. But Jeez. for this week, Johnny D, where are we at? I got two stories about people whose spouses can't cook, which are my favorite. Oh, and we can shortly boy. discuss people, this. This is about right. people who cannot cook. Uh, you know, uh, that's not how Mama made it segment. Okay. All right, oh, so no. I believe Jenny, my girl Jenny, married Jim from Crosby, Texas. She sent this in. They married after meeting. They had her. a little boy named Jack. I don't know if that's true. Jack and Jill. They have five children and eleven grandchildren. Oh, okay. There you Four great grandchildren. Right. Big family. Big family. They've been married fifty-one years in November. Congratulations, Congratulations. Jim and Jenny. That Congratulations. is awesome. Is incredible, wow. and thank you for being such a great example. But back in their early days. Uh, Jim was taking a Sunday nap, and so she decided to uh, make peanut brittle. He must have been tuckered Ooh. out from all the rat shooting. <laughs> Back yeah. in the day. That's right, boys, yeah. on Sunday afternoon. So she made the, the, uh, you get she made the peanut brittle on the kitchen table directly onto it. She didn't put no wax paper down? No wax paper. No yeah, wax see, paper. we're about to run into a problem because oh, somebody's oh. going to be gnawing on linoleum back in. No. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Say that ten times. Not right. bad manners, just good tea. Is I that, love the fact that Cy half the time doesn't talk in the microphone, but is always certain to belch it. That's right. Yeah. That's yeah. my favorite right. part of it. Yeah. Right. Right. And right. just heavy breathing into it. All uh, right. <laughs> so <laughs> we had pneumonia. Well, hey, you know, we're uh, oh, yeah. Sorry. Yeah, right. We both had pneumonia. Leave us alone. The right. Right. So she made there it on the go. kitchen table and her husband woke up to find her on top of the kitchen table with a hammer and a screwdriver trying to chip off all the peanut brittles. So that has been the story of Jim and Jenny for 51 years, which is a fun one. Which is a good one. That's I fun. like whenever uh, tools have to get involved in cooking. But not in dessert. <laughs> That's also true. And then we got uh, one of our friends from Vancouver Island, Canada, uh, Cody with a K. Um, he starts it off pretty rough that his wife is definitely not the greatest cook in the world. Well, you're from Canada. But... <laughs> Sorry, Cody. She Cannot. tries her best, and that's all he can ask. So he's got a good attitude about it. Um, so she tried to make peanut butter chocolate chip cookies. Uh -oh. First time she tried, three smoke detectors went off. Cannot okay. cookies. You take that the is, batteries uh, out of them suckers. They won't do that. Yeah. Not a great start. <laughs> also not meant to be the timer for your oven. The that's second right. batch was better, but they were so dry, he needed a gallon of milk. Well, that's because uh -oh. they love hockey. Mm -hmm. Well, hey, milk is good for you. They're you making pucks. Wait, you, wait a minute. Right. You got to have milk, with, right. whatever the taste That's of cookies. That's true. Although these Look were it. dry. And so the third batch, they were good. They were great, even, he says. Third time to But try. he had to tell her, well, that's not like my mama made it. Mm. To which she picked up an electric fly swatter and went at him. <laughs> <laughs> she popped him with an electric fly swatter. I got to say this. And he still has scars. If the woman's willing to try three times, you shouldn't. Uh, you yeah. deserve the. It don't matter how on. Mama did. If, she, okay. you leave that, if you if say she, that after attempt one, yeah, I got you. I'm with you. But after attempt three, and you say they're good, you yeah. back off of that, son. Yeah, you yeah. deserve the electric fly swatter. Have you ever been got by an electric fly swatter? Absolutely. We used to have one in here, mm -hmm. and we used to have swords fight with. It. Mm -hmm. Oh, the funnest thing was sneaking up behind somebody and popping them on the back of the leg. Oh, yeah. with it. That's it, boy. Pow. Well, that's fantastic. Yeah. If they get you on that metal button on top of your hat, you're in trouble. That one zings a little. But All right. And then, smokes, too. <laughs> so then I got another email. All right. And I'm pretty sure this episode is going to air on these people's second anniversary. Oh, that's fantastic. Oh, yeah. I think. Awesome. If I'm doing the math right in my head. But this is Patrick from Walnutport. Pennsylvania. Okay. I just come back from Pennsylvania. Were you in Walnut Port? I give up. Walnut Port? I don't. That sounds like a made yeah, up. That's where they bring in all the walnuts. So, him and his wife, second anniversary today. Today. Congratulations. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. For Maybe one day you'll be like Jim and Jenny. And How many years? One year. And that's what we're rooting two for. Two years. Two years. Two years. This they is number two. That's your one. But they're not big gift exchangers, and they have never been. They've been knowing each other for eight years or so. Um, but he wants to get her something other than dinner. Your advice is coming late because it's today. But yeah. what's something you'd gift for someone who truly. So when people say, What do you want? I don't want anything. And they really mean it. What do you get them? 
Oh, you start. Yeah, get them. You start at daylight, and you start leaving notes everywhere. Little love notes Little everywhere. Love, love notes ever. That so, that John Godwin's a romantic. I by guarantee way. you. Just ask me. Cy, <laughs> mm. si, what did you? What would you, you get? Her a bunch of roses, all different colors: white, pink, size gold black, roses, red, orange. About forty-eight. 48. 48 roses. roses. Oh, yeah. okay. Different colors. M- Martin's looking up what to get. <clears throat> well, I couldn't remember what the uh, traditional anniversary gift was. Second is cotton. You'll notice on the dash of my truck, I still have that little fake piece of cotton that Brittany got me for. Number two? Yeah, for number two. Oh, yeah, and it's still uh, on fake, my dash. Because there's years. A oh. fake piece of cotton? Just get yeah. a T-shirt. It just look, it, no, it looks like a cotton, like you went and pulled it stalk. out of a field. Yeah. Oh, stock? Oh, yeah, cotton I guess. stock. Yeah, it looks yeah. cool. I, and no I've kept it. Ain't no cotton up there in PA. Huh. Yeah, because there's a, there's a list, isn't there? Yeah, yeah. Corn, that's man. what, I couldn't remember what the second one I'm was. A flower, so, I'm a flower person. So, just thinking, yeah. my man, something made out of cotton. Yeah. There's something. T-shirt. Something was, really fun. T-shirt hey, to celebrate yeah. your second anniversary well, yeah. made out of cotton. What yeah. time of year is it? That you do they, whatever uh, you will with that information. Hey, go, what time? Buddy. What time pajamas. of year? Yeah, pajamas, lingerie, whatever. Yeah. Whoa, hey, hey, they're, they're married. married. It's fine. They're That's married. True. It's, yeah. Hey, what time is, of year is it that they always break out the flowers and redo the uh, spray sites? He really likes flowers. Redo though. the what? Grave sites. They clean them up and put flowers on fresh on all of them. I don't know. What, we do it. What's a race? Well, on? every two, three months. For no, no. I'm talking. About they, there's a day that they do this. Oh, I have no idea. Tuesdays? I, mean, I don't. Memorial Day? I don't know. But there's a day that in South Louisiana, especially, they they it's flowers everywhere, and people are selling them. Hmm. But they're grave flowers. So hey, I'm oh gray. Uh, yeah. yeah. I don't even know what kind they are, but they're grave flowers. So look, I'm driving down the deal when I'm in high school down in uh, Gonzales. And I see all these beautiful flowers, so I pull over and buy Mama a big bouquet of them. Yeah, well, when I come home and give to her, our next door neighbor is there, which she's a Cajun lady. And you know, she was kind of—I don't remember—it was she was acting funny when I gave them to her. You know, and I said, "Well, hey," and then she said, "Don't you know that them are grave flowers?" You know, and I said, "No, I didn't." I said, "But here's the thing." Uh, you know, I want to give them to her where she can enjoy them, not when she's in the ground underneath. <laughs> so, are you telling yeah. this young man to buy his wife grave flowers? For si, no, don't her? buy grave flowers. But si, I'm saying, hey, flowers. I'll tell you what I'm you don't do. Man. Si is don't highly send your woman some flowers from a funeral home. Uh, is there a story that, behind like that? A florist. Yeah, I ordered some flowers online, and it come from a funeral home. Come uh, from Mulhern's. <laughs> they were but but that ain't where I ordered them. It yeah. was like a, oh, a, a flowers. Yeah, com thank you very them. much. Oh, you gotta be careful. Yeah, well, don't do but that. But she didn't like that. But no. Why not? Why? Flyers is flyers, ain't they? Hey, That's it's the I thought, thought behind this what what's yeah. important. I didn't know they. Come I wanted from to give my flowers to my mother when she was alive, but no, they was people no, around. Dead. They was people around. Okay. That Patrick, around. I'm trying to help you, buddy. I'm trying. Hey. Patrick, I do highly suggest not gifting secondhand Get a reg- <laughs> yes. right. Get a regulation. Right. Seems like one thing you can spring for brand new. All right. Well, then he has a second part of his question. All right. So we got you. Cotton. All Find right. you something cotton. So he <laughs> saw somewhere that the two-year itch is the new seven-year itch. Ew, that makes me feel dirty. Wait, what are we, huh? So he's been married two years, and his marriage is going great. They're not struggling. But he's just curious what we do to keep our marriages fresh and exciting since he's very in the very beginning stages, I would suggest taking Martin's advice on the cotton thing. Yep. Yeah, <laughs> There's one way. Absolutely, friend. <laughs> absolutely. Um, but I would think, I think we actually got the answer to that from our friends Jim and Jenny, who have laughed at themselves in the same story of her with yep. a hammer and a screwdriver for 51 years, yep. right? There you go. So I would say look towards Crosby, Texas, and our other friends. And listen to Mr. Goblin. And listen Good to Mr. Well, Goddard. Right. Be romantic. Notes. Be romantic. He's got one and piece of advice that he always reminds me of. Goblin, do you know what you it always, what it is? It just hang in there. It gets better. It gets, it gets better. It gets, gets better. better. It really does. The more you learn each other uh, and learn, and you 
I mean, you just it gets better. It, it just, gets I better. I agree with that. And then the other thing you always told me: never stop dating. That's right. Go to the picture show. Go to dinner. Yeah. Go picture show. That's, always, that's always, Goblin's term for it. Yep. Always be romantic. And Try always, your best. I struggle with that sometimes. Have fun and laugh yep. a lot. Never I, stop dating. Ooh. Y'all need time yeah. to yourself. Yep. Make her feel right. special. Every right. once in a like, while. Like your kids she outside. Never, she never <laughs> loses the, the yearn to be doted on. Wooed. Maybe. Yep. Yeah. I so like there you that. go. Well, I've, I'm looking up all the, I like all the, I didn't, we never did the year thing like you do, Martin. I do it every year. So I, I give the traditional gift. And every, Patrick, I find something. just so you know, if you're following Martin's example, year three's leather. Traditional gift. You can combine two and three and get you really <laughs> okay. somewhere. All right. All right. But hey, congratulations on your anniversary. Are we ready for a Bible verse? I think so. We are ready. I got you one, Si. Just for you, flower man. Luke 12, 27 and 28. Consider how the wildflowers grow. They do not labor or spin, yet I tell you, not even Solomon in all his splendor was dressed like one of these. If that is how God clothes the grass of the field, which is here today and tomorrow is thrown into the fire, how much more will he clothe you? That's a good one. That's a pretty That's a solid one. one. And yep. it had to do with flowers. I didn't know you were so into flowers. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm He's big flower time man. flowers. All right. Well, we'll see y'all next time. We're out. Conspiracy theories. We need them. Oh, yeah. Wah, wah, wah.